Hi everyone, welcome to G Lessons and this is my YouTube channel and please don't forget to subscribe, click the button below and the bell notification for you to be updated. This channel is designed for all the students taking up Bachelor of Science in Office Administration. I would like to acknowledge all the, the students in all local universities and uh, colleges who are offering this program and I would like to believe that this channel will be of great help to your students to be able to understand fully how to write and read short <laughs> all right so let's get started I will be presenting to you the lesson one of foundation in shorthand so first we have to understand that when you say shorthand these are words written in symbols so there are three important things that you have to remember in shorthand first the symbols of course you have to know the different symbols to be used and then you have to know the sounds of the given word so just listen to the sound of a word once you pronounce it and of course you have to know the size of the different symbols so there are three s that you have to know first symbols and then the sounds and then the size those remember that it would be easy for you to understand all throughout the lessons of, of foundation of shorthand if you would be able to understand this three so let's take an example so let's focus on the sounds now the sounds if you would recall your your vowel sounds and your consonant sounds that is necessary in identifying the letter sounds that you hear in shorthand let's have an example the word is say say the word again say all right now to identify the sounds here pronounce it and listen very well so we do hear the so letter sounds of S and A. We have to disregard Y because it is not pronounced. So that's a reminder, that's a tip. Once the letter sounds is not pronounced, we have to disregard it. We have to omit that. Another example, the word is C c look at this one c so therefore the sounds is s and e it's not i but the sounds of e remember your vowel sounds a e e o u so that is e next example we do have the word here school see that school all right when you pronounce this one you hear the letter sound of s ch here school so that is letter k and this one is u and l so this one is what we call the letter sounds school next so that's that simple so this time we have to give you i have to give you the the symbols of those letters so reminders again in shorthand we have to be very particular on identifying the different sounds of the given word so that's a, a reminder a tip now i'll give you another example Let's say the word is might. Say the word again. Might. Very good. The word is might. So there. Pronounce it again. Might. So the letter sounds that you hear here is would be M I and T. Because this one are 
silent letters. It's not pronounced. So that's it. So this time I will give you the, the symbols of the group A and B letter sounds. Let's take up letter S, letter A, and letter E. And of course, letter F and letter V. Let's take it one by one. S in shorthand is represented by a comma S or a downward, a tiny downward curve. So that is the size, tiny downward curve, that one. See? It's just like a comma. Then for the letter A, it is a big or large circle. It's just writing letter A. So this one. You have to do is to remove the tail. And then for the letter E, we do have the letter E is represented by a small circle. That one. Next, letter F is bigger than the size of letter S in the same direction, occupying one half of the space of your steno notebook. So half of the size of your space line in your steno notebook. So here we go. That is letter F. This is S. This one is letter F. V sounds is represented by a downward curve occupying one hole of your space line. So that is one hole. Bigger than the size of letter F. So they are all facing on the right side. This is S, A, E, F, and V. So let's try to put them together. Let's try to join them together. <laughs> They have a word here. The word is C. Okay. So that is S and E. So this is your S. And then joined E. Now we do have the shorthand of C. This one is your C. Next example. We do have the word there you go so we do have the sounds of F and E let's join that we do have the F clockwise again join the small circle that is phi another example we do have the word vase Okay, vase. So we have the V sounds, A and S. So we have the V downward occupying one hole, and then the large circle, and then the S or comma S. We have to join that, put them together. We have letter V, and then clockwise for the letter A, and then S. Next, I'll give you another example. We do have the word face. Face. Okay. There you go. We have the sounds of F, A, C. Letter C here is pronounced as S. So therefore, we do have F. And then a large circle, and then a comma S. Put them together, clockwise again. We do have F, and then a large circle, and S, face. So let's have a recap. We do have S and E for C. And then, we do have vase, V, and A, and S. And then, we do have F, and A, and S. 
So this one is C, this one is vase, the other one is face. All right. Now, let's proceed to the group B sounds. We do have the upward and upward straight line and the forward straight line. The letter T, letter M, or letter, yes, letter M, letter N, and letter D. Okay. Now, for the T sounds, it is represented by a straight upward. Okay. It is occupying one-fourth of the space. And letter D is two-thirds of the space. Upward straight line also for letter D. And for the letter M, we do have the straight line. Okay. Now, for the letter N, all right, that is half of the size of letter M. This is your letter N. Okay, now let's form a word joining all the letters that we hear. Let's say, for instance, we have net. Net. There. Of course, all of the letters here are pronounced. So we do have N, a small circle, and the T. Now let's join that together counter uh, clockwise i mean so we have n and then e and t there another example okay again this is your t d m n there so let's have an example again the word is day there. Day or the word is date. Okay. Sounds would be upward straight line occupying two thirds and then clockwise for a day. Disregard why. Why? Because it is not pronounced. Next. Let's have the word date. Date, we do have letter D, clockwise for the vowel A, big circle, and then continuously right there, the upward straight line for letter T. There, we have to omit the, the letter E. That is date. All right. Next example. We do have lots of examples here for M. This is your M, this is your N. Okay. So, th the word may be me. Or the word might be main. Okay. And the word could also be uh, um, meet. There. So let's try this one. Me, meaning we do have M clockwise for the small circle. There, that is me. For main, let's have M clockwise for the big circle because it sounds uh, letter A. And then join their straight line for N. That's main. Remember, the size of M is bigger than letter N. Next, let's have meet. We do have M, straight line, forward straight line, and then clockwise for the small circle. Upward straight line for letter T. Okay, let's continue. If you have your steno notebook and your uh, yellow pad and your pencil maybe, that would help. And join me in writing so that you would easily learn sh writing shorthand. All right. But first, let me draw here lines. Okay. 
so that you would be able to see the different sizes I'm talking about. So imagine these lines are straight lines because it's really hard to uh, make use of the mouse as your pen. This is your first line on your paper and this is your second line. Now, let's proceed. We have discussed already the large circle. Again, what's that again? A large circle is letter A. Very good. A small circle is what letter again? It's letter E. Very good. Now, the downward symbol occupying one half of the space is what letter again? It's an F. Very good. The downward symbol occupying one whole of the space downward, what letter is that? It's letter V. Very good. Now, this time, we do have a tiny downward curve. And what letter is that again? All right. That is S. Very good. Now, for the straight line, we do have the upward and the forward lines. First, it's occupying one-fourth of the space. What letter? That's correct. It's letter T. And this time, we do have upward straight line occupying two-thirds of the space. What letter is that? Yes, it's letter D. Okay. Now, we do have the straight line, straight forward line. And what letter is that? Letter M. Very good. And half of the size of M is a straight line, forward straight line. What letter is this? It's letter N. Very good. Now we do have A, E, F, V, S, T, D, M, and T, N. We have the word need. Okay. Need. And the other word is what else? Made. Made. Or made. Sounds the same. So you see, this words has different meanings, different spelling, but the sounds are or is the same. Next, so here we have to draw a line first. There. So we have to disregard this one. It's just the same sound. So that's N clockwise and then D for two thirds. That is need. Next, this one. It has the same sound. So we do have disregard I made disregard E because the sounds would be M. These are the letter sounds. M. I'm sorry. M and then A and D upward straight line. Made. Next example. Let me clear my electronic board. Next. This time we are going to tackle about the, the different punctuations that are being used in shorthand. Now in shorthand we do have the punctuation marks to be followed like this symbol meaning it's another paragraph and this symbol is hyphen the symbol is period and this one is a question mark and this one is open and close parentheses and a dash after the last or place at the last vowel or the last symbol, okay, last symbol I mean, dash, this one, is for the, 
the names or places, okay, that needs to be capitalized. That's one. We use this one. Example. If your name is May, that's one. Or the month of the year. When you are going to write that, that is M A disregard this one Y again and put this one meaning that is the name or a name of a person or it could also be the month of the year okay that's it all right that's it that is lesson one that is the coverage of lesson one in foundation of shorthand so i hope you enjoy the watching my video and please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell notification for my upcoming videos thank you for watching see you again bye